So I want to talk about this carnivore redness thing. People have mentioned it before. I'm not the one like bringing this up for the first time. People have mentioned before that carnivores have this like reddish glow to them. Not always, but often. I'm using Sean Baker as an example here, but there's a lot of examples. I would say Dr. Anthony Chaffee often looks kind of like he has this red glow. Now these people are also usually very tanned, so it's harder to see a red glow on someone tanned. Um, I have another example here. Tucker Goodrich, I find he often looks red. However, he's also a redhead. Okay, so this may be like a bad example, but he's also a redhead, so it's harder to see the redness. There's females who do look red sometimes, but like they often wear makeup, so it's hard to see like the redness underneath. But you guys know what I'm talking about. The redness, the glow of the, you know, carnivore diet tends to be this red hue. And I know um, in uh, Plant Chompers' video, he made a video about this red glow and he um, chopped it up to like hemoglobin. And I'm going to tell you why I don't think it's hemoglobin. Um, but another example of a carnivore who actually doesn't look too red is Paul Saladino to me. Now, I don't think he looks super red anymore. I think he looks more like orangey, like the fruit. And I think that's because he's upped his fruit a lot. I don't know. I'm just guessing. Um, I think he's upped his fruit a lot because in one podcast I was listening to, they said his cholesterol has actually gone down. I don't know if it's in normal levels yet, but it actually went down. So that to me says that he's eating more fruit, probably less saturated fat, um, which is great because I believe heart disease runs in his family. So that's a really good thing. And so I think that's why he's looking a little less red, but I, he still does look a little red anyway. But that would be good if he's upping his fruit, you know, fruitivore diet. <laughs> be a good thing. Anyway, I'm going to show you why I don't think it's hemoglobin. This is Brian Johnson. So we know that Brian Johnson eats like a vegan kind of diet, even though he does take animal-based supplements. But he clearly looks quite white to me most of the time. Sometimes he has a little reddish tinge to him, I find. Um, but he's, I believe, a redhead as well. And um, I think he's doing stuff to his face all the time, like having treatments. That could also make you a little red. But to me, most of the time, he looks quite pale, quite white. But if you look at Brian Johnson's supplement list, you can see he has... Where is it? Proferrin right here. You see it right here, proferrin, which is a um, an iron supplement that's made with heme iron. So he's taking heme iron. He is not a, I guess he's not afraid of the heme iron at all. He's taking it, and yet he doesn't have that red glow. So either that means his heme iron isn't working, which I doubt because I don't think he would keep taking it. He tests like every parameter of his body all the time. So I think if he was taking heme iron and it wasn't working, he would probably take it out. My guess. Just assuming here, but he does test all this stuff. So. And and yet he doesn't have that red glow. So what do I think's going on here? I personally think the red glow is inflammation. And of course, people are going to expect me to say that. I'm more plant-based than most people. And, you know, that would be, that would, you know, be something that would prove my case type, type thing. You know, it would be, but it makes sense to me that someone who's also taking heme iron without the negatives of meat such as the increase in saturated fat, which is going to mess up your microbiome, which is going to increase your cholesterol, which is going to cause inflammation in, you know, at least the arteries and stuff in your body. Is it the heme iron or is it the meat in general that causes, the red meat especially, that causes this inflammation? And I would say, based on just pictures, <laughs> but it looks as though it's, it's the red meat. 
you know, that causes this inflammation or meat in general, animal products in general, potentially, maybe not fish and dairy is kind of an on the fence thing, but like other animal products do tend to cause inflammation. So I think the redness might be inflammation. 